Hi, Stephen. Hi, Isaac. It's really hey, surreal to be able to talk to you like this. I mean, I'm sure you've heard this so much by this point, but I really love the film. Um, I'm also a first generation immigrant. I'm 17 and I cried more than once watching it. The thing I liked about this film is how the two young leads, um, they have to have like a really complicated relationship with their heritage. So while growing up, were there things that you two were both ashamed of that you now couldn't be more proud of? I've got a lot. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be different for you two, but I know that like, I feel like uh, there's like with Asian kids, there's like a phase where we go where like we're kind of ashamed to like bring our cultural food to school because like it might look different or smell different. Oh, for sure. We, we had that in our house. I think my, my sister and I, we would get upset when my mom gives us kimbap to take mm -hmm. to school. But then later on, you realize, man, our, our, our mom was amazing. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, I think it was less about hiding who I was and more about trying to access and feel the same feelings that a lot of my, you know, white friends also felt, which was, I think the feelings of like being an individual. Um, uh, for me, I, I really just wanted to represent myself in some way. And so mine was, it, it, it manifests the same, but it was a little bit more uh, complicated for me. How's your daddy like that new farm? He growing things good, doing things right. Yes. Why don't you like grandma? Why don't you like grandma? Grandma smells like Korea. Yeah. Grandma smell? <laughs> Food plays such a massive role in Minari, and eating dinner together is such a staple part of families and relationships, especially for Asians. I was wondering, how did food play a similar role between the cast? On set, how was such a tight form? How was such a tight bond formed between you all? Food is, is, you're right, like so important. You asking that question makes me really think a lot about how differently all the characters eat. I remember making active choices as Jacob of just like grabbing a thing and just stuffing it in the mouth and just like eating it. Uh, because for him, he's just really just trying to eat for the sake of eating and then just get out and do his job. And you could see all the differences in the characters now that I think about it. But I think food on the outside uh, you know, we had this wonderful uh, friend, Ina Lee, who, who, who really helped us out of the kindness of her own heart to, to, to provide food for us, to cook for us, to, to make home meals. And that was our home base that we'd come back to every single day after shooting. And so um, it really was a salve and a really large connector um, that I think in some ways simulated the family that we were trying to portray um, in the film as well. So, 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 so thankful for Ina. Now, one quote from the film that really stayed with me was, even if I fail, I have to finish what I started, which is what your character says, Stephen. And in both of your careers, I want to know, have you adopted a similar approach but have you actually found that it is sometimes okay to just let go? There's a, always a submission and that, that is a letting go. And this work was special in that um, I got to let go many times and submit to the creative collaborative process, trusting the actors, trusting our DP, trusting uh, everyone on the team. And it's only in that way do I find that something good can, can arrive creatively speaking. So I, I, I feel like there is a narrative out there that uh, you have to punch through with your will and, and get things yes. done, but I don't think it really works that way in this world. I feel like we're working together. We're submitting to something bigger than ourselves, really. You know, I think, you know, I think for me, I think with Jacob, there are more people upholding um, the life that he's living than he thinks. Um, I think for him, he's isolated in this mindset that thinks that he's the sole person holding up the family and that he needs to make this money when he needs to be a success in order for this family to function. And I think that's uh, a fault of his, uh, where he thinks the way to convey love is through his beauty and his function. Um, I think the journey for Jacob was to realize that this is a shared experience, that it's a collective experience, that everybody contributes and everybody holds their own weight. And um, when someone realizes that, maybe the mission isn't so much 
that I have to finish what I started, but it's more about I have to service what we all are experiencing together and hold that together with.